think at one time when I put like the seat belt thing behind my back, somebody in the comments was like, please wear your seat belt. All right, Taryn, one word or phrase. It is dangerous to not go see this movie. So basically this is the Who Framed Roger Rabbit of video games. <laughs> see, I, I went with a video game reference and you went with an 80s reference. It was, it was actually a really good tie-in for both there of us. I really loved this movie. This hit a really happy medium of being both really good storytelling and really good referencing to other pop culture items. Yeah, it definitely, while like, obviously there's just all kinds of Easter eggs literally left and right in this movie. You'll miss them. There's enough that you sit there and you go, oh, that's that thing, oh, there's that thing, and it's cool. But it's it's not a movie that sits there and goes, hey, remember that one thing that you really loved when you were a kid? We got it right here. It was a, it was a good story that had plenty of surprises, and uh, I think that that feeding off the nostalgia in a, in a good way uh, definitely uh, helped. If you, um, if you were alive at all in the 80s or 90s, you're gonna recognize something. Get it? was uh, kind of your classic early Spielberg kind of story, kid overcoming the adults. Um, my concern going into the movie, other than that it was just gonna be a smorgasbord of them throwing stuff at you, just being like, cool, look at all this cool 80s and 70s and 90s stuff, was I was worried that in the set pieces that I would just get lost. Mm. That it would just be too much, it would just be very, it would be like Transformers where it's just too much going on on screen. <laughs> Um, but they do a great job of keeping keeping your eye and keeping focus, and it, it, it's well shot and well put together throughout the uh, game sequences where you're not, you know, just, it's not, we're gonna throw all these things at you and you have to try and find something. This focus is well done and the set pieces are well put together. So my concern with that was, was taken care of out of the first action sequence in the movie. Uh, do you tell people, Taryn, to watch it now, wait till later, maybe on Blu-ray digital, or do you burn it with fire? I'd say go see this one in theaters. Uh, this is actually one of the few movies that I would actually consider seeing twice in theaters for myself. Um, I loved the visuals. I loved the overall story. Uh, soundtrack was great. Um, anyone a fan of 80s music, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this movie. Um, anyway, yeah, I would say go see it in theaters just because it is a big spectacle film and it's a lot of fun. It, it, there's a lot of great shots and stuff that uh, is definitely worth watching on a big screen. That. Now it's definitely also one that if you're a, just a, if you're a video game fan or a movie fan or something, you're gonna watch it later on DVD because you'll want to pause it like every five seconds. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that like button down below so you can see more of this stuff. Uh, Want to make sure and thank our sponsors, 1-800 Gibby Pizza. Don't drive, just dial, and we will catch you next time.